Hi and welcome to Vintage Dog Collector. Today we're going to take a trip around the world in this sneak preview of the upcoming Withington Doll Auction. The auction will be held Thursday, June 14th at the Holiday Inn in Nashua, New Hampshire. For more information, you can visit their website at withingtonauction.com. We start our journey in Japan, in the midst of a Girls' Day celebration. This partial Girls' Day set includes the 16-inch palace, three ladies-in-waiting, and 14 pieces of Hina Matsuri doll furniture. A 16-inch Japanese archer carries his bow and quiver of arrows. The court lady has an ornate, long mohair wig and an open mouth with molded teeth. A 14-inch Boys' Day doll with elaborate armor stands on a wooden platform with his horse. This sweet Ichimatsu boy has pierced nostrils and ears and a cloth body with paper mache limbs. He's 10 inches tall. The next stop on our world tour takes us to the city of Shanghai, China. An 8-inch Door of Hope girl is here to meet us. She has a yellow carved bow in her hair. These two Door of Hope dolls are being offered together. The bridegroom on the left has wooden hands. The gentleman on the right has stubby cloth hands. From China, we head north for a brief stop in Russia. This pair of costume dolls by artist Margarita Kuznetsova have sculpted faces with painted features and cloth bodies with sculpted limbs. Their hair is made of embroidery floss. Now we're off to Turin, Italy, home of the Lenchi dolls. This 22-inch golfer from the 108 series has a curly wig and his original Lenchi tag. Another golfer, this one from the 500 series, is dapper in his checkerboard sweater. Germany, the heart of Europe and the center of doll making in the 19th century. The auction includes many wonderful ladies, character children, and babies. We'll meet a few of them as we travel. A 13-inch parian with a molded snood and pink and white luster band. This 15-inch lady has blue and gold molded ribbons in her hair. A wonderful doll with her molded hair swept back into a coiled braided bun with a pink and blue glazed scarf around her head. Her shoulder plate features a molded blouse with glazed pink lapels. Her cloth body has wooden hands. A sweet 10-inch hoibach with pouty face. This 21-inch Cameron Reinhardt girl is model 101. Her little brother is 13 inches tall. K-Star R 114 boy has a nice antique outfit. There are some wonderful Kathy Cruz dolls in the auction. This is 14 inch Du Mine. Wide hip doll one boy wears his complete original outfit. Doll 8 by Kathy Cruz has a human hair wig and her original hang tag. This paper mache milliner's model has a lovely molded hairstyle with long curls on either side. A cute character girl in sized K-Star R S and H 116A. She has a toddler body. This 25 inch doll is marked Made in Germany 99. She has blue flirty eyes and an open mouth with wobble tongue. On a cruise down the Danube, we meet this big boy in his vintage sailor suit. He's a Kessner 211. This character baby, in size 36, is by Simon Halbig. Here's another JDK 211. This sweet baby has his original skin wig and antique clothes. K Star R Simon Halbig 126 is 20 inches tall and just adorable. A beautiful pink tinted Griner style china. She's 17 inches tall. Another lovely brown eyed china with antique clothing. Here's a pair of pretty chinas to add to your collection. The lowbrow doll has two glass jewels embedded in her shoulder plate. On a day trip to the Black Forest, we run into some bears. A pair of stiff mohairs, just three inches tall. 
They're dwarfed by this 28-inch Super Molly Stife Bear. She's fully tagged. Back in town, we meet this 28-inch Heinrich Handwerk Simon Hall Big Girl. Another big dolly. This is a 29-inch Kessner 164. This Simon Hall Big 1079 has pierced ears. A 13-inch Belton is drop-dead gorgeous. Simon Halbig 759 is a kid body doll with a swivel neck. She has antique clothing and shoes. Kessner 143 wears her prettiest dress to meet us. This 24 inch handwork doll has a wonderful outfit as well. 28 inch Simon Halbig 1249 is just beautiful, a face to fall in love with. There are several lots of half dolls in the auction as well. This lot of four all have arms away. These six very pretty half dolls make a lovely collection all by themselves. We say Auf Wiedersehen to our German friends as we head east across the Alps to arrive in our next destination. Paris, France, the pinnacle of culture, fashion, and food. Fashionable ladies are there to greet us. This 16-inch lady is incised with a number five. She has a swivel neck and pierced ears. A 14-inch lady with blue glass eyes and very rosy cheeks. This 15-inch doll in size number 4 proves that the right hat can make any outfit. A well-tailored ensemble sets off this lovely doll. This doll has a kid body in near mint condition. A gorgeous walking suit with velvet hat and original signed shoes make her even more special. Her blue eyes are stunning. There are a number of accessory lots in the auction that would be perfect for your fashion dolls. These early French ornate dance cards were from the Magic Closet collection. One is dated 1887. Let's take a day trip to Brittany to shop for some furniture. These pieces have wonderful detail. Bebés are well represented in the auction too. This pretty 22 inch Tet Jumeau has a stamped body and Jumeau shoes. 23 inch Steiner in sized A-15 and stamped La Parisienne. She wears an antique lace dress. A Tet Jumeau 7 looks lovely in purple. This sweetly dressed 22-inch doll in size J. Steiner Paris has blue lever eyes. This 19-inch Tet Jumeau 8 has a French jointed walking type body with a blue Jumeau stamp. A big beautiful 30-inch Jumeau in size 1907. This darling black Jumeau doll has brown glass eyes and pierced ears. She's 17 inches tall. A petite bébé, just 14 inch tall, is a Tet Jumeau 5 with a Jumeau stamped body. We're almost ready to head to our next destination. The twins are here to see us off. Unfortunately, in their rush, they forgot to brush their hair. These dolls, in size Depose E5J, are so nearly identical, it was likely they were made by the same hand. One has Jumeau 6 shoes, her sister has French shoes with a mystery mark. We bid au revoir mes amis as we head for our brief stop in the United Kingdom. This 14-inch King George VI Highlander by Farnell dates to the 1930s. He's all cloth and very detailed. And now we hop across the pond for a jaunt up the eastern United States. Myrtle Fay is a cloth doll by North Carolina artist Ellen Turner. This 16-inch Presbyterian cloth doll, made in Ohio, is from the Jean Grout collection. She has hand-painted facial features and hair. In Philadelphia, we meet some wonderful dolls native to that city. This Philadelphia baby has a photo of the original owner with the doll and an additional dress. Another Philadelphia baby with a beautifully expressive face. If you don't have room for a big dollhouse, 
This little show and hut structure is just perfect. This Griner paper mache doll is a whopping 30 inches tall. It's just a short trip north from Philly to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. This Moravian doll, Polly Heckwelder, was made in the 1930s. Heading east, we stroll along the Atlantic City boardwalk. Here we meet a dialing Camkins boy. The Big Apple, New York City. This is Marie, an early cloth Dion Quint doll by Alexander. She has a molded flock face and human hair wig. Alexander's hard plastic Maggie is 17 inches tall. A lot of three Tony dolls by Ideal all have original clothing. This Caroline Kennedy doll by Alexander is all vinyl in her tagged outfit. At our next destination, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, we meet this molded hair girl by Martha Chase. She is 16 inches tall. Little Nell is a rare and beautiful Martha Chase doll. Back home again in New Hampshire, we visit with some early porcelain dolls by artist Gail Wilson. This 8-inch boy has his own rocking horse and teddy bear. A red-headed little girl has furniture and accessories. This sweet pair comes with their favorite toys. They were made in the 1970s. This is just a sample of the wonderful treasures to be found at the Withington Auction on Thursday, June 14th at the Holiday Inn in Nashua. There will be room sales on Wednesday afternoon and the auction preview is Wednesday evening and Thursday morning. Visit the website at withingtonauction.com for more information. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.